What's going on everybody? This is the portion of this video where we are doing the giveaway for that bead box. Um, a while ago, like five days ago from this, I told you guys I was running a giveaway on a bead box. I believe I'd like to say we had like 90, almost 90 people or almost exactly at 90. So um, just for you guys' information, I am doing like, this is, uh, you can't really see it, but I'm doing a spinner giveaway. I'm gonna attempt to screen record it on my phone. If not, then I, yeah, I'm probably, you probably, guys probably didn't see this part of the video and I probably recorded it in a different way. But pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run the spinner thing on here and then whatever it lands on is the winner. And then obviously the winner will be posted here. It'll be posted in the old video in the comments. It'll be pinned at the top. So if you guys didn't see it, but this spinner thing is pretty sick. Uh, I have the spinner and you guys can see here, uh, whoever that is at the top, you didn't win but because I haven't spun it yet, but I mean, that's a lot. All those, literally every single one of those little blips is a spinner. So let's jump down here, turn on screen recording, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know how to hit the spin. Okay, we're doing it. So it looks like the screen recording's working. So we're watching, we're watching. You guys are probably seeing this like pipped up like right here too, but what is the winner? Uh, it says born, born to fish since 91. Born to fish since 91, you are the winner of the giveaway. So, um, and I'll, there'll be a little like, your comment will be pinned up right here. Make sure that you guys, you message me on Instagram. Um, you also, if you don't have Instagram, which your comment might've already said that, um, you could actually email me and you could just reply, drop a comment on this video or comment on something else. Uh, but if not, then like reach out to me on Instagram uh, get me your shipping address and I'll get that shipped out to you like you know one within reasonable time of whenever you text me Yeah, I hope you guys like this this little video is just uh, we're doing a little budget trout fishing challenge So make sure you guys watch the rest of this video. I would really appreciate it uh, I thank you for all the love and support and uh, we're gonna be doing some giveaways in the near future Hopefully so thank you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this episode Welcome into the 541 fisherman YouTube channel everybody by the way guys Thank you, thank you, thank you. I Man, I don't know how to explain it. You guys have been showing me so much love and support recently. Um, thank you, thank you. The channel has been growing at a pretty solid rate. So, uh, you know, we couldn't do that without you guys. So I just want to say thank you for that. Today, obviously, as you guys saw by the title of this video, we're doing a, like, I think, I think I said $20, but realistically, it's like 15. You could get it down to 15 if you wanted to, which is what I'm, pretty much doing in this episode. I bought a rod, I bought a, you know, the bait and everything, and we kind of had a mishap with the rod. Literally, uh, I tried to film this video a few weeks ago, and I broke the rod upon taking it out of the car to go fishing. Yes, I know I'm an idiot, but you guys will see, I actually have an identical rod, which I used to call it pinky. So <laughs> you guys will see that in a few minutes, but it's pretty legit, I promise, I promise you guys. But. I am currently on my way to Swoop Up Wesley and we're going to the fishing spot. We're gonna be, you know, targeting planter trout. Uh, I believe there's gonna be some brood trout in there, but I'm not 100% sure of that. We're gonna be doing just a very simple fishing method, which obviously you guys are gonna see that. So if that's something that you guys would like to, you know, I go ahead and stay tuned for, I would really appreciate that. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I'll see you guys when we get to the fishing spot. to the pond as i told you guys i had a problem with one of my rods so i kind of picked it up like this and it broke okay. don't pick rods up like that yeah, guys don't, don't yeah so you guys can see it's obviously broken but for video purposes i have you guys can see it's a zebco slingshot i actually have like an identical one this is the rod i used to call pinky i used to catch a lot of fish on so for the purpose of this video we're just gonna take the reel off the broken one. Peep that steelhead gear, guys. Oh, by the way. <laughs> no, I, oh, there's always a link in the description for it, so. But we're just gonna go and Comfy, slide. very comfy. Yeah, Wesley's got it on, he's got a hat too. Yes, sir. Which you guys probably always see that, but. Yeah, there's always a link in my description for it. But yeah, we just paired that up. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a little fixed weight with a treble hook and then fishing power bait. So super, super simple. I'm gonna get that tied up and then catch you guys back in a second. Okay, everybody. So here's what we're using. So. These are 
size 16 treble hooks that's for my power bait and then i'm just using a little fixed rig you guys see me do that actually a lot however there's that one you guys can't see because you're pointed down but what i do is i have my weight out i'm gonna just put that in my pocket i have a treble hook damn bro he's freaking going ham over doing? there so we only have four treble hooks by the way we can't lose them that's here okay so what i'm gonna do guys is i just do a regular like upgraded clinch knot go through you know through the hook then i do four wraps one two three four take that line you know go through the loop grab it go back through the loop and then cinch okay get my scissors cut it now i'm gonna go like anywhere from 18 to 24 inches above my hook take my line bend it back take my weight i'm gonna take that little loop i just created go through the weight around the weight back up to like the little you know, metal loop on there and cinch it to itself a fixed rig i now have that leader to my hook i feel really bad wesley because all of this stuff is extremely extremely old and really gross so you're gonna definitely definitely have gross hands after this That's okay. sorry Stay. in advance Stay. oh no shot bro this Gonna. one's brand new Gonna. Come here. dude this bag Good boy. it's been sitting outside for like eight months not gonna lie really? yeah it's kind of gross so i just take a little dabble there guys take it put it on the hook damn bro you can't eat that okay and then i just make a little dough ball like that and that's it super simple now something key i don't know if you guys will be able to pick up on but make sure that that power bait right there is floating before you cast okay and i fish this pond a lot you guys can see everyone's catching them over there so there's just a big pile of them this is our first cast give it a cast let it fall i let it sink to the bottom close it obviously so you guys know we are using that same reel check our drag feels pretty good to me i'm tight i'm just gonna go ahead set the rod down and we're gonna wait for a bite all right guys i'm recasting i don't know what's wrong with these stupid fish dude i can't catch one to save my life bro i might switch baits too try like a different flavor guys i'm i'm getting bit he's got to eat it though eat it to his booty hole i can't feel him i feel like he's got it yeah, fish on, boys. Devin finally got one. Or? Yeah, finally got one. It's a pretty good one. Not gonna lie, you guys are looking right at the ground. <laughs> you watch it comes up here and it ends up just being a brute. I'm not gonna lie, that'd be so sick. Oh, he's pulling. It's a feisty little bugger, though. Yeah, there you go. All right, stock flip. Ugh. Look at that, guys. Oh, dude, he ate it. <laughs> he ate that thing all the way to his booty hole, guys. We're definitely going to catch and cook this guy for sure. All right. So I think they're all over there. Is that you or is that a fish? It was so funny because I just, like, looked at my rod and it was just freaking, the line just instantly started shooting. All right, now we're going to wait for a bite, guys. Look, you already got one. Oh, guys, I just rebaited and casted like off camera, but I got one. He's got to eat it. He's not, he doesn't have it yet. Really? Dude, why aren't you eating it, bro? Come on, dude. Got him. Got him. Fish on, boys. Fish on, boys. What if it just jumps? It's just a brooder. Why is it running so hard to the side? Oh my god. It's actually a pretty good one. <laughs> dude, why is it freaking out so much? Oh my god, dude, look. <laughs> oh crap, dude. Alright. Did you swallow it to your booty cheeks? Maybe. Look at his fins, dude. His fins are so messed up from that hatchery pin. Oh, I bet. Yeah, he really got it. Hook came right out. He's going back. 
see sometimes you can do that too and it just it just rips like the top of their mouth but yeah, they still go and yeah he wasn't bleeding so sweet goodness i feel like it's the same thing for you guys over and over just me rebating and casting but i did switch to orange and i'm gonna just yeet that thing all the way out there i like how i say yeet it but it literally went like yeah. not very far look at that heron over there dude those things are so majestic dude dude it just shot bro something had to have ran into it dude that was that was look. Yep, it's on it it's on it that's it fish <laughs> dude i don't think it's very big my reel's coming off oh they come off ow god that really didn't feel good dude i just want to feel the weight of like a big brooder or something Dude, he's missing so many. That's a decent one. Okay, buddy. Come on, come on. Is that about where you are? No, I was, I'm all, I cast over there by where he keeps missing them all. Dude, that's a thick boy. Okay. We can pull this out. Ow. He's good. There you go, bud. Dude, yeah, I was all the way out there by where his bobber keeps draining. <laughs> send it, send it. Dude, that's a donkey, bro. Dude, how did he hook it right where you were casting, bro? Oh, shit. I almost just fell. Here, I got the net, bro. Here, get that shit in the net. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that's a donkey, bro. That's Holy a crap. That's a donkey. Ooh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that's a huge one. On a little jig? Is that yeah, what that is? A little jig there. Dude, that's a crazy one. Look at that thing. That's a fat one, dude. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, if that footage goes in our channel. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I was like, I'm running. I, know, I, I was like, all right, whatever. I was wondering why you guys were wearing uh, that. Yeah, we you have YouTube channels. Like a dickhead and stuff. Yeah, yeah dude, that's crazy. The eggs are weird, though. I've heard that people eat them. Yeah, caviar. The eggs? Yeah, I don't know about that. But. Yeah, I don't know. But... <laughs> are you bombing that thing out there? I don't know how it goes oh, so far out there. <laughs> straight, bro. That was good. Okay, we're using... Oh, wow. Dang, dude. I think this is kind of the deal, though, because I think they're all swimming kind of high in the water column. Yeah. And then they just end up swimming... Right oh, 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 oh. oh, my God, dude. Did you see that? No. I looked up. My bobber was completely gone. <laughs> I looked back at it. Whoop. I know. It... it I looked up and it came right back up though. It probably stole my bait again. Stupid thing. Why do I feel like a micro worm would wreck them though? Like I have that weird feeling that I know, probably I would. <gasps> Dude, that one just ate my, it just ate my bobber. Oh. Dude, a brooder just ate my bobber. Did you see it? No. It came up and tried to eat it off the top. What the fuck? Dude, it was, it was like this big. I, all I saw was it just go like this and swim past my bobber. Dude, it tried to eat it off the top. Dude, it's right there. It's a huge one, bro. It's like the one he caught, but kind of dark. I just don't want to keep it, though. Oh. Why did it try to eat it off the top? Well, did you see my bobber, like, tick? It's because yeah. it came up like this and looked at it, and then, like, bumped it, and then just kept swimming. That's fucking funny. I wonder if I'm too deep. See, that's kind of where I was wondering, because when I used to come here, dude, they used to be, like, right under the surface. Like, I used to run... You know, like six inches deep and it felt so stupid but i catch a lot of them oh there it is there it is there it is it's right there swimming dude right here look it's like it's a little guy but it was right here dude it just was swimming right there look fish on baby am i still recording yeah dude that's a good little guy dude, look at that jig you know what's crazy? Way shallower than I, am. I know that's what i'm saying i was fishing shallow I don't want to break my jig off. That'd be really unfortunate. No, 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 no. Why are you so angry? Dude, I know I can catch one now. Look at that, guys. Right in the roof of the mouth. We don't need to keep any more, so. What's your plan, old son? I always forget to show, like, show the camera when I'm casting, and then I just cast, and then. Yeah, same. I feel terrible. I also just went, like, a foot shallower than I. Son of a bitch. I just got luck. Look. What? Oh my, oh my god. Oh. Eat it, you turd. Oh, oh, that's a brute. That's a brute, what? dude. It's a brooder, too. How? 
How shallow are you? I'm that deep. I'm, I'm shallower than that. You're gonna have to net this one, Wesley. You guys, I got a brooder. You guys saw it all unfold. Oh, dude, it's a good one, bro. It's a good one, dude. That's great. On the jig, too. Oh my god, bro. That's a donkey. Bro. Get her in here. What are you doing? Quit playing. Dude, look at you guys. Look at oh my god. Look at the net. Oh, it is the net, bro. Dude. Look at that. That's the brooder I just caught. Um, unfortunately for this video, I'm just gonna catch and cook the small trout that we caught. Uh, there's no reason to keep this fish, but uh, if you guys come over here, we're gonna we're gonna let her go. She might have to hang out with us for a couple minutes. <laughs> no, she's ready to go. Look at that. Ooh, that's so sick, dude. Okay, everybody. So. Uh, unfortunately, um, Wesley and I ended up not doing the catch and cook. We ran into a problem um, of we had nowhere to clean the fish, and I didn't really think that through. And I really don't want to cook in my house because I've already done a catch and cook, it, like on my stove and everything. And I want to do it on my you know, little thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end up saving those trout for sturgeon bait, you know, which is gonna be kind of cool. But I, you know, I'm really sorry for that. But you know, something I just want to mention to you guys really quick before we cut the video out was yo know, those setups I was using, I used two different kinds of setups, both on the same rod, obviously. Um, you know, with you know the bait and everything like that, they're both less than twenty dollars setups. You know, that's with hooks, rod, reel, you know, lines, weight, all that good stuff. They're less than twenty dollars. So that's just something that I, you know, I want to throw out there to you guys. But thank you for the support. I love it. Um, I just I love making videos for you guys. So, you know, I guess that's just that's what I'm gonna leave you guys at. But I'm almost home, so I just want to say thank you again, and I'll catch you guys' faces on the next episode.